Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be opening the October Glossy Box. So Glossy Box is between 21 and 18 I think depending on how you pay per month and this month they actually had two variations of their boxes which this is one time I kind of wish I could have gotten both of them because the other one was this similar thing but blues and blacks although I do like this one. I might like this one better. I can't decide. Let me know what you guys think if you'd have rather gotten the blue or the pink. But we'll go ahead and see what's inside. First, we can get $10 off our GQ box. Woo! I will not be getting the GQ box. Sorry to disappoint. I know you guys really wanted to see all these men's products, but my husband would use none of them. I do like the paper. Glossy Box has a mix of full size and deluxe size products, so it'll be just different kinds, but we'll go ahead and open this up and see what we got. So our first item is a makeup eraser, <laughs> which I just got one of these in an advent calendar, and I know these are really good, I just don't use them, but I do like this, what is purple? It's like something different, you know, so, and it is the full size, so a full size purple makeup eraser. It's a nice product to have. Okay, so next we have Secrets in the Snow. Okay, I love that name. What is it? Soft Styling Foam. Okay, so it seems like it's just like a mousse or like a texture foam kind of thing. So I will actually probably try that, mostly because the name is Secrets in the Snow. And I'm amused by that. <laughs> okay, our next product is, oh, oh, is this the mascara? Oh, it isn't. Okay, so this is Give Them Lala Beauty. And I have gotten so many of their mascaras, but this is a lip quencher in the shade Drenched. So I'm guessing this is, oh, it is clear, completely clear. Smells like vanilla. Doesn't seem sticky. I don't want to put it on my lips because I will turn this thing this shade of red. But I do like the way it feels and the smell is like nice without being like, oh crap, I've got to smell that all day. Because you know how I feel about that. <laughs> Our next, oh my gosh, is this? Okay, I got this. This is the Ciate London Bamboo Bronze. <laughs> This is one problem with getting so many subscription boxes. I think some brands like decide to like do it for a month across all the boxes. And it's like if you're getting all the boxes, you just get like the same product six times. So this, I got a full size of, oh, maybe I got it in an advent calendar. I don't remember. I got it somewhere. I opened too many things. I don't know how I opened so many things because I can't open things. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, this is not intact. This is, this is bad. Okay, this is all over my pants, all over, oh goodness. Okay, I'm glad, glad I got it somewhere else because this, yeah, that's going in the trash. Ah, oh, my pants, my pants are black. Well, now they're black and brown. Okay, that was fun. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> Actually, I might like the other one, but. Oh, that's too bad. It just broke. Okay, so this is the last product, and this is Skin Ink French Pine Bark Serum. It's for repair. Contains powerful, hydrating antioxidant extracted from the bark of French coastal pine trees. I wonder if those pine trees are special. <laughs> I don't know. There's, like, pine trees everywhere. Like, do you need the French coastal ones? But actually, my mom used to use, like, this pine something to like put on like bee stings and stuff to like pull out the stuff. And that worked really well. It was this really thick black gross. This is much prettier. The thick black gross might work better, sadly. But this is beautiful. I wonder if it smells like pine. It smells like nothing, which I mean is good for a serum. I expected it to smell like pine though. So, 
There's our last thing. Oh, I don't have the little magazine. There's no magazine. There was just that GQ thing. Is that a thing this month? Did they not have it that has all the products? Or did they like just not put it in mine? Cause, oh look, there's bronzer on the side of my makeup eraser. Not doing your job, makeup eraser. Dang it. So I don't know how much this box is worth. Um, I wouldn't guess a lot. What are these? Like $20? This is maybe 15. I'm just making stuff up. I have no idea. I don't know which ones are full size. I'm guessing this is just a sample. The broken bronzer is obviously a sample. Uh, I don't know. I hope they're not stopping putting in that magazine. I will be so upset. They missed it one other week though and then it came back and now it's gone again. I hope it's just my box and that everybody else got it. Let me know if you know anything about the magazine in the comments and what you thought of this box. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. As always, I would love it if you would subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!